Welcome again to my friend, the Holy Spirit. This is Gifted Zawadila. We continue the series, but this time we're going to talk about somebody else who did not inquire of the Lord and allowed spiritually illegal people in their company. See, we're talking about spiritual legality versus physical legality. And understanding this will help you make the right decisions. Anytime you allow somebody into your life, Without inquiring of God about their spiritual legality, you set yourself up for destruction or failure. Look, we're going to look at Joshua. Yes. So we're going to look at Joshua. When Moses died, they, he was supposed to take the children of Israel into the promised land. He was told, you destroy everybody there, destroy their gods, destroy everything. Do not do what they do. Do not be like them. Because if you are like them, you will be destroyed as well. And the things that they did, that is why they are being destroyed. So do not copy what they did. So we're going to read in uh, Joshua chapter 9 from verse 1. Now all the kings west of the Jordan River heard about what had happened because they had killed so many people. You know, they had killed, destroyed the people that they were told to destroy. So when the kings of the west of the Jordan River heard about what had happened, these kings, these were the kings of the Hittites, Amorites, Canaanites, Perizzites, Hevites, and Jebusites who lived in the hill country in the western foothills and along the coast of the Mediterranean Sea as far north as the Lebanon mountains. These kings combined their armies to fight as one against Joshua and the Israelites. But when the people of Gibeon heard that what Joshua had done to Jericho and I, he totally destroyed them, they resorted to deception to save themselves. They sent ambassadors to Joshua, loading their donkeys with withered saddlebags and old patched wineskins. They put on worn out patched sandals and ragged clothes, and the bread they took with them was dry and moldy. When they arrived at the camp of Israel at Gilgal, they told Joshua and the men of Israel, we have come from a distant land to ask you to make peace with, and a peace treaty with us. The Israelites replied to the Hivites, how do we know you don't live nearby? For if you do, we cannot make a treaty with you. They replied, we are your servants. But who are you? Joshua demanded. Where do you come from? They answered, your servants have come from a very distant country. We have heard of the might of the Lord your God and of all he did in Egypt. We have also heard what he did to the two Amorite kings east of the Jordan River. King Sihon of Heshbon and King Og of Bashan who lived in Ashatoth. So our elders and all our people instructed us, take supplies for a long journey. Go meet with the people of Israel and tell them, we are your servants. Please make a treaty with us. Wow. These people decided their God, the God of Joshua, of the Israelites, is too strong. How are we going to stay alive? We need to lie to them. We lie that we are from somewhere very, very, very far. We put on ragged clothes. We, we carry saddles that are worn out. Things that will show physically that we are legal. In the physical realm, in the physical looks, let's carry molded bread and hard bread. So they think we came from very, very far. Like we had a very long journey. Look at that deception. And Joshua and the Israelites, they forgot that they have to inquire of God. Are these people talking the truth? Are they saying the truth? Remember, these people were, had decided to deceive them. So any questions that they had been, were going to be answering would be a lie. How would you know somebody is lying to you? How would you know that somebody is a lie? Somebody who's kind, somebody who's gentle, somebody who's talking all the right things, who's doing all the right things. How do you know that they're not deceiving you? How do you know their spirit? How do you know their spiritual legality? By asking and inquiring of God. Ask God the Holy Spirit. Who is this person? Who are they in the spirit realm? Who are they? And who, are they legal in the spiritual realm or illegal? 
that is the only best way to go because understand that people will come in deception they will come prepared to deceive you they will come prepared physically because they understand people understand that people everybody kind of believes a lot of people believe what they see more than what they don't had joshua been spiritually alert he would have said wait a minute let me inquire of the lord about you he would not have asked them who are you asking about your somebody's spiritual legality or are you judging just like a mere man join me again as we continue to look at what happened with joshua and the israelites because of these people who came to deceive them god bless you